How's it, chaps? Uh, back in the Camors. Uh, quick little video. I know I haven't done something for a while, but I uh, thought I'd give you just a little update on the house. And then we're going to go for a short walk up or down the hill. Not too sure. Um, kind of feeling a little bit lazy, so we might go down the hill. Um, but check this out. Things have improved slightly. We've got a fresh coat of paint. Uh, I don't know if you can really make it out in the video, but definitely looks a hell of a lot better than what it used to. The reservoir has also finally been repaired. Uh, for quite a long time we were using this white tank, but that's our reservoir down there. Um, it was cracked and we were losing like, I don't know, maybe 10,000 liters of water a day. So they ended up replastering the inside and putting a new roof on. So thanks for that. Uh, at least we do have clean and sustainable water for now at least. I don't know what's going to happen to this thing. Uh, it's been just standing here empty. The driveway is also pretty much being improved, well extended should I say. Uh, I don't think they finished completely because there is still a bit of building material and stuff there. Looks like they are going to continue around the back of the house, so maybe tied in with uh, the back tiling patio area that was I don't know, constructed while I was away. Let's uh, actually just go and have a look at that quickly. This is the back patio area that I was talking about. Um, I don't know why exactly they did this um, or created it because we spend absolutely no time at the back of the house uh, but all good and well because it all used to be really muddy here so also quite a nice little upgrade also the bry area is now finally fully operational uh, there it is and we use it pretty regularly we always used to have the bras underneath there but uh, the owner kind of moaned about the ceiling up there getting all black so it's freshly painted so we are respecting her wishes to have bras in this little area. <laughs> this is also one of those top-notch repairs. Um, wonderful that they put a gutter covering the stairs. Now, here's the stairs, which are a death trap, uh, but there's no gutter outlet. So I don't exactly know what this is supposed to achieve, but anyway, at least it's, at least it's a step in the right direction. Just before we go for a little walk, uh, check this out. Uh, all of the fruit is starting to grow and we've got actually quite a lot growing just in the house boundary. Most obviously in uh, tropical areas we've got the good old coconut. So those have been, uh, I don't know, I suppose growing and falling every now and again. They make quite a big bang when they hit the ground here. Yeah? Next thing we have here are the mangoes. Uh, a lot of mango trees around this area. So pretty much all over the place. There's a, another big one up there. This is a guava tree. Now, they are all still pretty small, but definitely growing very quickly. Um, over the last couple of days, they've really been getting bigger. Um, not too sure how long a guava takes to grow, but I'll probably eat them, uh, well, at least try one when they are ripe. Also got some of these big green spiky fruit things. Uh, not too sure what they are called, uh, but I have been told that they are not ready for consumption quite yet. This tree, not exactly too sure what it is, but it's definitely got fruit on it. Uh, there it is. Maybe some of you can let us know in the comments. Uh, not too sure if you can make it out from just the video, but I've been told it's also like a sweetish type of fruit. Oh yeah, and uh, I think that is an orange tree. Uh, very small oranges though. There we go. That's the size of the orange, pretty much the size of a golf ball. I don't think they get much bigger than that. Uh, but they're probably still pretty sweet. Oh yeah, here we go. There's a whole lot of small ones right there. We've also got this fairly random little porcupine growing here. Uh, not a porcupine, but uh, rather a pineapple. Check that out. Just a lone little pineapple. Now, when I got here, it wasn't that big. And I've, I think I've been here maybe two, three weeks, somewhere around there. And uh, it's definitely growing quite quickly. It's gonna be awesome to also try that once it's ready. Not too sure how big these get. Uh, you know, in South Africa, they get really big. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's hope it's ready before I have to leave. And uh, this is our pawpaw tree. Now, it doesn't really have any pawpaws on it at the moment. Uh, last time it had two really big ones up there, but I think the bats might have got hold of them. So don't see anything else growing here at the moment. Not actually too sure what season they grow in, but I'm pretty sure all of the fruit grows in the same season around here. Don't exactly know what these things are. Um, it's like a long bean type of type of thing. Not too sure if you can eat them or if they're actually just seeds from that tree. Uh, I suppose we'll see in a couple of days. 
see if anything comes out or I could probably just ask one of the locals see they've actually got some uh, little flowers or something on there maybe also some of you guys can let us know in the comments what the what the type of tree this is or what type of fruit if it is a fruit but yeah that's about it oh yeah and also we've got some chilies now i'm not too sure who planted these but uh, they are definitely growing quite nicely uh, also a red one there and they they're actually getting quite big uh, there's there's some growing in the pot down on the patio uh, that's they've got some really nice and big ones well i say one big one uh, in the pot not too sure who's going to eat them here's the big ones i was talking about now this one is getting quite big uh, again not too sure if it's ready to be eaten but i'm pretty sure that you can eat them at any time i think uh, mahmoud he's one of the guys local guys here that helps us out a lot and uh, he makes quite a mean chili sauce so it's going to be quite nice to actually have used our own grown home chilies to make the sauce okay so that's enough about uh, all the vegetables and stuff uh, we're going to take a quick walk now down to the beach There's a house, that's the gate, and uh, that's pretty much up the road towards the coal, and then that's down the road towards the beach. Now, I was going to take you for a little bit of a walk up to get a nice view, but then I decided I was actually too lazy, so, uh-oh. One thing we've got to watch out for here is straight cars. <laughs> uh, yeah, too lazy to walk up the hill, so making a quick beeline down for the beach uh, maybe we catch a sunset down there uh, thinking of taking you just to a little spot that I go to sometimes to uh, actually watch the sunset um, not too sure if some of the other guys go down there but might be interesting to you this is down towards the main road not very far probably about 100 meters and you can see that is the ocean right there ah, check there nice little ship not sure what it's carrying yeah so <laughs> this main road gets quite busy it's uh, like basically the main road that goes right around the island so if you really are into that type of thing you can drive ride walk run <laughs> around the entire island uh, now i believe that to the north uh, basically towards north beach the road is actually really good um, as you get around half of the island but uh, if you go the other way if you try and go around the south um, yeah one of the guys tried to do that a little while ago, uh, probably three, four, five weeks ago maybe, yes, and he said the road was terrible. That used to be the old crew house, La Baramia, and uh, kind of had an upstairs and a downstairs, very nice deck upstairs and uh, right on the sea. Not too sure exactly why we moved from there, but I know some of the guys still go there on evenings, you know, just to have sundown as that type of thing. The place that I'm going to is not exactly a legitimate spot uh, I'll say legitimate it's kind of a place that's not really finished uh, don't quite woo, don't quite know if we are allowed to go there but I've been there before um, definitely not on our property that's for sure although I think the guys are pretty flexible about uh, who hey check it there's a goat uh, Hello. <laughs> the locals here are so friendly, which is awesome, man. Uh, so, yeah, as I was saying, uh, this is not really any of our property. Uh, but there's another goat. Yes, he's on the move. <laughs> How awesome is that? This is Africa, baby. This is Africa. So, oh, there's actually... This is where... This is where I used to walk down. There's actually a little wall now. I wonder... Yeah, maybe they're actually building the house. So, this is the place that I used to come to. Um, you can see it's kind of a half-baked, built house. Um, nice flat deck. A little bit of a staircase. We'll go and have a look at that shortly. Um, but I normally go and sit on the top there and watch that. Oh yes. This all used to be bush, by the way. <laughs> Had to kind of go through a little path, but I'll take it they've cleaned this because they're actually going to start building here again, maybe. Oh, man. That sunset is beautiful. 
That's uh, one thing that's quite nice about the Camors. If you are looking for nice sunsets, uh, Africa obviously is known for its sunsets, and I've seen some really spectacular ones in Botswana. And now Camors is going to come through. Well, at least I think so. <laughs> so these are the stairs. Definitely don't want to fall off the edge there. And check at this. Nice little spot all to myself. Before it gets too dark, just to give you some idea of exactly where we are, Moroni City is all the way down there, and the airport is up that way. That's the coal. Well, at least that is the coal. Um, over there, behind those clouds, is Mount Gatala. That's the volcano here. And then our house is, oh, I don't know, I think it's somewhere hiding in those trees. So, yeah, not such a bad place to be. Definitely like to go exploring up through those, the jungle, the wilderness. Nice little flock of birds flying up there. So, something that we saw last time, which was nice and interesting to see if you haven't seen it before, but there's a hang of a lot of bats around here. Although this time, for some reason, they haven't they aren't around, they haven't come back. Uh, I don't know if they're sleeping, I don't know, do bats hibernate? Maybe they've been eaten by like the fish or something, but there are definitely not as many bats around. Now these are fruit bats, uh, well at least from what I believe, and there's a there's also like a hang of a lot of fruit around, so I'm not too sure what the story is there. Although maybe they are all hanging out on the coastline, because I do remember last time we went to a hotel, it was uh, Itsundra, it's now called Golden Tulip, also a hotel on the beachfront, um, a couple of k's towards the city, and man, like just as the sun's going down, you can you just see bats all over the place, flying in amongst the trees, and massive things. These things are like hardy dogs, eagles, man. Um, you definitely don't want one of them coming to take a snap out of your hair, or you know that type of thing. But uh, yeah, not too important. What do you guys think of that? Of that sunset? Yes, man. Beautiful. There, there's one of them. So, that's one of those <laughs> massive, massive fruit bats. I think what I'm going to do, I brought a nice little treat here. Ah, good old Coke. And some, some billies, man. Also brought some of this stuff, uh, you know, like go away mosquito shit. Because, yes, mosquitoes here. I think these mosquitoes will carry you away if you're not careful. So yeah, as I said, quick little update and not too sure when I'm going to bring you the next video, but for now, at least this is something to fill the gap. Oh man, that is, that is such a beautiful, such a beautiful sunset. Brilliant! How awesome was that? So, <laughs> this is something quite nice to do every now and again. Okay, I think it's time to head back home now. Getting a little bit dark, and I didn't bring a torch with me, so uh, we'd like to get back before it like it's pitch dark. Also, it's kind of supper time and I'm a little bit hungry. And I did see the guys picked two chickens off the tree. We're leaving them out to defrost and I think they're gonna put them in a bag and cook them. So, that is probably what is for supper. There's more traffic. The traffic never stops here. It's also not very good. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> I was getting in the way. Um, oh. And that is Mahmoud's house right over there. Um, he's the guy that helps us out quite a lot. Although he does spend a lot of time at our house. I think he sleeps there sometimes. 
well, most nights actually, hangs out with the crew. He's quite a useful person to have around, especially since a lot of us don't speak French. Well, none of us speak French and none of us definitely speak Comorian. Uh, I'm not too sure what the actual language is called, uh, but you know, we refer to it as Comorian. So he pretty much does a lot of everything for us. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, <laughs>